that it, Dorian? Lawrence is threatening to hurt the girls if you don't do what he wants. And look, I know you love your family. You love them enough to risk them hating you if you thought you were protecting them. I'm really sorry, but this is just so convoluted. I'm having trouble following. I know, but that's why you put Lowell in, isn't it? Because Lawrence dangled hurting them against you hiring someone who would set him free. And, uh... Have you shared this ridiculous theory with anybody else? Yeah, I, I, I just can't deal with this, okay? My own mother has hired the man who tried to kill Star and her baby to be the new police commissioner. All right, I am, I am trying to make lemonade out of rotten lemons by moving out and finding a new place for us. But if you're going to be crazy jealous all the time, I just can't... I'm sorry. Are you? Yes, but I really think Ford has an agenda. Well, I have an agenda of my own. More hits than the skateboarding cat, huh? Yeah. Now, Ford, all I want is a fair deal. My people can mix it up with your people, but maybe we can come to terms on our own. You're right. No reason why we can't work this out. What's your agenda? To be with you, period. But you've got to stop going nuts every time I'm in the same room as Ford. You've got to trust me. Can you do that? Of course. Prove it. Uh, I guess I could put in some hours when my shift is over. You're a lifesaver. But that only covers part of the day. What are you going to do the rest of the time? Well, when you're not watching her, I'm sticking to Stacy like glue. Everything is finally going my way. You're not going to ruin this for me. I don't even know what this is, Stacy. The only thing you need to know is you found it out because you're almost a doctor, okay? And it also means you can't run your yap to Rex or anybody else. But I know Rex, and his mother is a really good friend of mine. This is wrong. Well, she's right, Kyle. You're in med school. Just like me, you have no choice but to keep your mouth shut. Yeah, I, I never said I was going to rat you out, okay? Uh, yes, but you didn't say that you wouldn't. You are skating on thin ice in med school already, Kyle, and you know they're going to give you the boot if you just do something stupid like compromising a patient's privacy. I back the hell up, Jeff. all I'm saying... I said back the hell up! Okay. All right. What, what, what happened to you, man? You used to be like a pretty stand-up guy, right? You know, you know what? Whatever you guys are into, I don't want any part of it, okay? doesn't it? I don't trust him. After everything I put him through last year, what if he still has it in for me? If he goes to Rex, you and Gigi are over. My sister will never forgive you if she finds out you knew the truth and you kept it from her. Aaron, uh, I'll go talk to Kyle. Oh, kiddo, it's gonna be okay. Don't worry, I'm not gonna let anybody get in our way. We're gonna be a family. You, me, and Rex. I think we should just yeah. go. No, right? I refuse to allow my son's murderer to run this town. I hear the flan is just as good as it was before this diner received its, uh, its quaint little makeover. That was a gift to you from Charlie, wasn't it? To make up for a previous indiscretion with alcohol. Mitch, that's enough. Oh, Ricky, I am sorry if I offended. Frankly, I... I hate it that there's so much animosity between us. I propose a truce. Let bygones be bygones. Well, you call murdering my son a bygone? I acted in self-defense when I was forced to shoot Jared. But haven't we all acted impetuously now and then? Why, Natalie has recently tried to kill me. But to protect her, I claimed that John McBain did it. You all should be grateful. We are not. I'm simply extending an olive branch. Choke on it and die. But darling, you know I never stay dead. You're afraid Lawrence will think you ratted him out. That's one of the reasons why you need to be straight with us. We can't stop Lawrence from making a move if we don't have the pieces to put together to figure out what that move's going to be. John. Hmm? If you ever cared about Blair, stop. Don't pursue this. You really think if you do what Lawrence wants, he'll leave Blair and the others alone? Hmm? He took an oath. He took an oath to serve the people of this city. Mitch commits a crime? Arrest him. I'm not a cop anymore. And I work for Commissioner Lowell, who, as you know, 
is Mitch's puppet. What do you want me to do? You fire Lowell, you reinstate Bo, and we'll put Lawrence where he belongs. 